I wanted to show you guys this video of Simeon Toko in hopes that you will begin to remember who you are. For you to understand how much powerful you are than what they have made you to believe. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I wanted to do a video on a guy named Simeon Toko right quick. I've seen a few videos on him on TikTok, but I feel like he's not spoken about enough. And his story is literally top secret. The CIA, the cabal, all of them do not want nobody knowing about him. Okay, so basically he was born in 1918, and throughout the years, he literally was doing things that the Messiah was doing. He was performing miracles, doing stuff like that, you know. And basically the cabal, Fatima, you know, the elites tried to come down and kill him multiple times. This photo right here that I'm showing you, they literally cut out his heart one time after killing him, tried to do a diagram on it as to why he's always coming back to life. And he literally came back to life as they were doing it and asked them why did they have his heart. There was a time where he was on helicopters and literally told the helicopter to stop and the helicopter stopped. It didn't go back, it didn't fall, it just literally froze up in the sky. Even when he was down in the Congos, he had a ministry to himself that was devoted to him, literally. Matter of fact, I got a tape recording of somebody actually going into detail on how he literally was refusing to die and chose to die. Literally, he chose to die. I'm about to roll it right now. Very enjoying very much. Thanks. And one of the chapters was um, Nikola Tesla, the P. P. Peterson that Nikola Tesla Black Ops. Yep. Is one of them is about Black Jesus, where there's was a sentient being appearing in Africa. Yep. And I just want to know if you know any more information you would share with us. Yeah, uh, the Black you, Jesus Chris. story, the Black Jesus story was probably one of the most shocking things I ever heard. Um, it came from my insider, uh, Jacob, I call him that in the book, who actually was working for the Rothschilds and still does, and um, also is a whistleblower who doesn't really do what they want, but continues to work for them because he feels like there's some very serious extraterrestrial threats to Earth and that what they're doing is very necessary to protect us. So the story goes that in the 1960s, there was a black man uh, in Africa who came in with abilities complementary to those of Jesus. And uh, he was performing miracles. He was starting to get people to listen to what he had to say. And the cabal tried to kill him and you know they could shoot him in the head and his skull would just regenerate and the flesh would grow back and uh, he was fine the crazy story that I heard which and, and remember I was told at the time that if I disclosed this that I would be uh, killed and I ended up putting it in the book anyway um, the story was that this guy uh, you know they finally said okay we're gonna bring you to the United Nations and share your message with the world Let's get you on this flight. They, they bring him on this flight, and instead of bringing him to the United Nations, they shot him repeatedly, and then actually had some kind of meat grinder device, uh, and basically like a bandsaw, I guess, and sawed up his body into a whole bunch of pieces, put him in these very, uh, very like radioactive shielded uh, containers, and then had all these fighter jets dock with the plane and fly his body parts to all corners of the world where then these containers um, uh, turned them into ash and uh, they thought that maybe this would defeat him like that his body somehow the tissue was necessary so if they destroyed all the tissue in all these places across the world maybe they could defeat him well he then regenerated in, in their offices and was fully fine fully intact but the sad part is that he said, you know, I, you guys so badly do not want me to be here that I am not going to be able to do any more. You're going to get what you want. But bear in mind that in the future, many others like me will be coming. And when they do, you will not be able to stop us. Now, obviously, this is someone who was very tapped in to self and understood how powerful he was and how capable of doing these things he actually was. See, we need to understand that so a man think it, so he shall become. You have to believe that you're capable of doing these things in order to be able to tap into it. See, when you hear the story of Jesus and him running around and telling everybody, 
you could do the things I, I've done and more. If only you believe, this is an equivalent to that, all right? Now, I've actually heard this story before, but I didn't think that it was in, you know, it was pertaining to Simeon Toko. That'll be something that I have to look into for myself. But this is a prime example of what you're capable of. And with that being said, I want to leave you guys as I came. I want you guys to always, always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family. Peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. Ashay.